Hey everybody, this is Kevin McNamara and welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast. This is a place where we talk about everything from how to change your life to reach your full potential, plant-based diets for healing, how to get out of your comfort zone and become the best human being you can possibly be. We talk about meditation, we talk about having good healthy relationships and everything in between. So please subscribe, share it with your friends and your family and please support our sponsor, MealFan.com. They are the world's best food delivery and meal preparation service. Their link is in the show notes. Let's go inside and listen to today's episode. Good morning, everybody. This is Kev. Welcome to the Inspired Healing Podcast. And uh, I feel like I was here only yesterday. But that is something else that I... That's another challenge of mine, is to uh, publish a podcast every day for a year. I'm up to day, I think, 96 today, so uh, we're getting there. So these challenges, that they're really helping me. And uh, if you can get out there and just do, just challenge yourself. Just find something you can do that will really challenge yourself. And, um, and do it every day. Do it, do it for a long time. Be consistent. And that's going to help you become consistent in life. It's going to help you get better habits in life. So that's just off the top of my head, guys. Just find something that's going to change you. I know this is changing, but it's day 31 of my running and day 96 of the podcast. So that's really, um, it's given me a routine and it kind of ties in with what I I want to talk about today. And uh, I want to just, first up, just read a quote from Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoics, the uh, amazing Roman Empire emperor. And it reads like this, if you seek tranquility, do less. Or more accurately, do what is essential what the logos of a social being requires and in the requisite way, which brings a double satisfaction to do less better. Because most of what we say and do is not essential. That's really important. Because most of what we say and do is not essential. If you can eliminate it, you'll have more time and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? But we need to eliminate unnecessary assumptions as well, to eliminate the unnecessary actions that follow. I love that quote, you know, do less and do it better. We all have distractions. And one of my uh, goals at the moment is to um, just try and get my podcast and we also put up every day a meditation video up on YouTube on our uh, YouTube channel. Go check it out, Meditation for the Soul channel. Just do a link, just do a search in YouTube on that. Meditation for the Soul channel, you'll see us there. And we put up a meditation every day. So my goal has been to try and get that all done before midday. And I have struggled. Read this passage a little while ago and uh, I realised how many distractions that I have. You know, I get a ding on Facebook, I've got to go and check it out. I get a message on Twitter. Someone's put up a post that I might be interested in. I go and check it out straight away. I just don't, it's like that fear of missing out. And um, I mean, I must admit, look, I don't use Twitter a lot. <laughs> I think Twitter's just a place for people to, they just vent their rage on there. It's just a crazy place. But there's all these little distractions. Or you might go and check out a website that you're thinking about and uh, or you, your emails keep coming in. Anyway, yesterday I got my podcast and the meditation up at uh, 11.30, which was a record for me. <laughs> But I want to to be even quicker than that. So I want to get rid of more distractions. But I just love that quote. It's just, um, it just says so much. You know, if you seek tranquility, do less or more accurately, do what is essential. Just do the stuff that's essential, but do it better. Because it's hard to do things really good. If you're working on a project, for example, and the phone rings or you get distracted by Facebook or something, or your kids or whatever, then you come back to it, you do a bit on it, and something else happens. Imagine just focusing on that the whole time and not worrying about what everybody else is doing or worrying about uh, the TV or worrying about Facebook or Instagram or whatever. Imagine how much more you could get done. So I think it's a wonderful quote. Um, It's worth looking up if you haven't got it. I might actually write that underneath uh, when I get home. I'll, uh, I'll put that quote in the comments below here. Make sure you check it out. It's a great quote. I love it. So yeah, just start doing things that are only essential for you and stop worrying about all the distractions coming in and you have more time and you'll have more tranquility 
and it really does work. And like, like I say, yesterday I had so much time in the afternoon to do other things that I needed to do, and it was great. So I'm going to work on that again today and try and get that even, get that done even quicker. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to go and check out our uh, brand new book, which is all about meditation. And meditation is a wonderful thing to help you with distractions. So our book is called, and it's free, it's a free book. It's called The Beginner's, or The Complete Beginner's Guide to Meditation. And you can see a link uh, in my profile here. You'll see, um, if you look at the about thing on me, uh, there's a link there to the book. So you can get that for free. So it's a great book to read, learn all about meditation, the benefits, all that kind of thing. So go and check that out. Thanks for listening, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm just going to read this once more, just so it sinks in for you. I just love it. If you seek tranquility, do less. Or more accurately, do what is essential. What the logos, and the logos means opinion, basically. What the logos of a social being requires, and in the requisite way, which brings a double satisfaction to do less better. Because most of what we say and do is not essential. We talk crap most of the time. And it doesn't mean anything. If you can eliminate it, you will have more time and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Is what I'm doing necessary? Is being on Facebook wasting time necessary? No. But we need to eliminate unnecessary assumptions as well to eliminate the unnecessary actions that follow. So we assume things and we take action on it. Don't waste your time doing that either. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. See you then. Bye-bye. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that episode of the Inspired Healing Podcast. If you did, please share it with your family and your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. And to get your free copy of our brand new book, The Complete Beginner's Guide to Meditation, click on the link below in the show notes. You're going to love it. Everything you need to know about meditation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.